Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So use trigonometric substitution to integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, you should complete the square on this bit here. So completing the square on this bit here, factor out the 9. So factor out the 9, it will then give you this. Hang on. So completing the square, factor out the 9, and then it will give you this. And then use whichever method you want. Complete the square, it will then give you this. So in order to um, so in order to integrate this, hang on. So in order to uh, to integrate this thing here, you should complete the square on this bit here. Completing the square would then give you this. Would then give you this. And then once you've got your once once you've got this here, then uh, then your eyes should zoom to this bit here, and then create your right angle triangle in such a way that this will be true. You see, if you make the uh, the the hypotenuse to be this, the adjacent to be this, then the opposite will have no choice but to be this. So, in order for you to integrate this, complete the square on this. That will then give you this, and then and then create your right angle triangle, which will then give you this. So once you've got your right angle triangle, then uh, then then you can obtain this. You uh, once you've got your right angle triangle, then you can obtain this. And you can also ob obtain this. Okay, so so uh, so now let's look at this bit here. Time, rearrange. Let's look at this bit here. Time, rearrange. Uh, rearrange x. Rearrange this to make x a subject. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then differentiate it. It will then give you this. And remember, we've done this many times. If you differentiate this, it will then it will then give you this. Okay, we, we we we've done this many times. So uh, so differentiate this, it will then give you this, and then uh, and then once so here you've got your dx equals this thing here. So we can then put this back into back into um, back into the dx here, hang on, back into here, and then this complicated thing here is uh, is so so this this is the complicated thing here. So the complicated thing here. Is uh, three tan theta, so we can put three tan theta back into back into uh, back into this complicated thing here. So so this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become will then become this. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. So uh, so tidy this thing up and then factor out the uh, the uh, the third here because it's a constant. So, uh, so this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. So now it's just a matter of integrating this secant, uh, secant of theta. So, uh, so remember, we've done this many times. If you integrate this, it will then give you this whole thing here. Okay. So, so we've done this many times. Integrate this, it will give you this thing here. Um, so once, once you're here, this, this here is our answer. But we, we don't want the answer to be in terms of theta. So now revert back to your to your to your diagram. So this was our diagram here. We want to somehow replace this and this. So from from the diagram, uh, from the diagram, secant would be this. So from the diagram, you can obtain this. From the diagram, you can obtain secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent. So from the diagram, we can obtain this. And then from the diagram, um, remember we, we're trying to um, to replace tan theta. Well, tan is this thing here. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So now, uh, so 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 from the diagram we can we can obtain this, and from the diagram we can obtain this. So now uh, uh, secant of theta equals this thing here. Tan of theta equals this thing here, so we can put this block into here, into this thing here, and then for for the tan theta we can put this block into here, so that will then take us to uh, to here. So this we could leave as this, but we can tidy this up. So uh, so merge these two fractions together. So here you put one fraction plus another fraction. Two denominators are the same. Merge them together. That will then give you this. Um, and then, uh, and then remember, whenever you, um, hang on, when, whenever you, uh, 
whenever you natural log one thing divided by another thing, that's the same as this thing taking away this thing here. So, uh, so, uh, so here we've got we've got one thing divided by another thing. So, so you, we're, we're we're natural logging one thing dividing by another thing. So that's the same as us doing this. Uh, that's the same as us doing this. And then, sorry, I've got a third here. Hang on, I've got a third here. Uh, that that uh, so so uh, so that so this here, this uh, this whole thing here will then become this. But but the thing is, this thing here is a constant. Natural log of a of three is a constant. It's it's just a number that doesn't change. It's a constant. And then this here is also a constant. So this whole thing here is a constant. We can merge it with this constant here. So this whole thing here would then become would then become this. You see, we could have we could have left it as this. We could have left it as 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 this. But we can sorry, we could have left it as this thing here. We could have left our answer as this thing here. But we can tidy this up. If you tidy up, it will then give you this. So this here is our final answer. Okay?